All right, chat. Give me some words. Let's make a beautiful, lovely, amazing poem. First word I see, I'll go ahead and put in. And then we'll see who we're hanging out with today. Who is everyone's favorite? Let's see what happens. Amazing. Bam! Sayori, good job. Another word. Cage? And pleasure. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Uh, a daydream of a vacation. That's cute. Family. It's not on here. Cage. You got it. Oh, God, that's Yuri's. All right. Uh, unrestrained clouds. Aw, oh, we got some lucky bubbles. This feather makes me laugh. And it's only a meager massacre. This rainbow wants to make me cry. Speaking of cry, that was the first word I saw. I smile whenever I see a waterfall. My journey of judgment begins today. My bloody valentine. Precious. Extreme tears. Uh. My fantasy kiss is with you, chat. Mwah. I'm really clumsy on the playground. I atone for my depression. I saw kiss. Oh, that was Natsuki. Nice. The anxiety games. Playing among us and actually liking it. Ah, oh, the joy of shopping. Hey, joy. Yeah. If I get some vertigo, I'm going to be defeated. Ah, oh, it's my destiny for some desire. Ah, oh, my little captive. Uh, my lovely captive is fluffy. Desire is when I saw. That's a Yuri word. Oh, my heartbeat is unstable. I'm incapable of showing fear. I'm actually a psychopath. Embrace. Nice. That was a Sayori one. Oh, my philosophy is in disarray. Elemental hero, or sorry, destiny hero, Captain Tenacious. Throws of a whirlwind. God, I love dark anime. Tenacious, I saw. God, this blanket is uncontrollable. It's just wrapping me up and suffocating me. Aw, oh, this kitty's awesome. Don't you just hate those heart candies? Sunset. Good choice. Oh man, that dream was something kind of special. It's very vivid. If I catch a shiny Pokemon, everything will be at peace. Aura! Good choice. Tragedy rose from this event. I don't know. I'm gonna disown my dream. <laughs> I am, in fact, an infinite intellectual. Did I tell you guys about the... Uh, rose was a good one. Uh, did I ever tell you guys about the uh, person who made a comment on an old Let's Play video and it sounded like a copy pasta? No joke. They made a comment so ungodly, just so full of themselves, that I I thought it was a copy pasta. And it turns out they were being 100% serious. So, of course, it is now the official Niskel copy pasta. Allow me to read the comment, and uh, if you're here in chat and you made this comment, stay quiet, please. I saw wonderful. Boom. Hold on, let me let me pull it up just because it's so funny. Is it that Assassin's Creed kid? No, it isn't. Although, he has been blowing up my Facebook. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can find it, just because it's so goddamn funny. Uh, da -da 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 -da. sorry, I should be paying attention to words. Uh, Melody! Bam, got it. Why isn't it showing up? Oh my god, Lust is in here. Hell yeah. Unending, though. We're going for it. The unending Lust. What the hell is that copy pasta? It's not actually a copy pasta. Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish up here, and then I'll start reading it. Pink is the first thing I saw. Aw, oh, the empty fireflies. Owl City, no. Ew. A vanilla lollipop? Get out of here. I don't like vanilla flavoring. Oh, pure is something I saw. The pain parfait. Oh, God, these bananas in my parfait are too hard. Broke my teeth. 
horror. And last but not least. What do we got, everybody? Love. That's cute. I have no idea who's winning. Anyway, uh, well... I know! This copy pasta sucks! Okay, listen to this. I'm not gonna say their name, just because I don't want to publicly embarrass them, but if they speak up in chat, they'll do that themselves. I agree with the Nintendo fans never being satisfied. They're definitely disrespectful little shits who has no life and decides to bash on Nintendo for no reason! A true Nintendo fan, like me, for example, respects and being satisfied, what? With everything Nintendo gives me, unlike these so-called Nintendo fans. Holy fuck, get your head out of your ass. I think my favorite part is, that was a day after the new Persona 5 Royal copy pasta, Where the guy said, uh... I play, I play JRPGs all the time. I have a degree in English. I know what a good game looks like. God, it was funny. Aw, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Did you hear about that copy pasta, dude? Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, <laughs> I think Kira made that copy pasta. <laughs> it's really funny. And I looked at the original original tweet for the Persona 5 Royal one, and it is so goddamn funny. Guy wrote, like, a 100-tweet essay on why Persona 5 Royal is the best thing ever and why everyone else should shut the fuck up. It is so funny. Well, maybe not determination. I'm not from Undertale. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival! I made a JoJo reference and you didn't know it? I mean, there's a lot of Kiras, so unfortunately the one I thought of was Death Note, a far superior anime, so get fucked, loser. I'm kidding. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Oh god, I love banter. No! Don't eat my squid, kid! Actually, I chose an octoling, so she should be fine. Oh, come on. You should do that gruddle voice more? What the hell's a gruddle? Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? You are secretly a squid, Monica. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? You are secretly a squid. Because it's right in your name. Wait, really? Oh, Ika. Squid. I get it. <laughs> oh, that's a cute face. I haven't seen that one before. Of the deep voice I usually do. I gotcha. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. That, hmm. I mean, I got it. Huh? Ah, never mind. Almost broke the fourth wall there. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. She's too prim and proper for wordplay. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are! Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. Staring, eyes widened, blank expression. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori! I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again! Aha! <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of, of course. Why wouldn't it be? So, I probably should have warned chat that, um... Today's stream is the stream. It's where things finally start picking up. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? 
Sayori shows me a big smile. Oh, and for those of you who know what's going to happen, please don't say a freaking word. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. She's just standing there, menacingly! Get out of there, SpongeBob! I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Nickel, what's up? Uh, by the way, for those of you just joining us, Nickel is one of the many mispronunciations of my name. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but you doing anything later? Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? Well, she seems kind of down. She's not up. <laughs> I hate it! Maybe I'm reading into it a little much, but she seems a bit downcast today. All right, you're not allowed to make that joke. I just did. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging her rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking... But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking... Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. Y you know, somebody already mentioned that this game has uh, quite a few lines rewritten to make it flow a lot better. And I didn't even realize it until I started editing the VODs for episodes. They're absolutely right. It does flow a lot better, and a lot of the scenes have changed as a result of this. It just feels better to read. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Huh? I still love that Nickel is the adorable caveman I made him out to be back in 2018. Oh my god, it's been four years since I've played this game. I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you. And then I just walk over and stand on her head. There, I'm on your mind. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? I shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Even more than literature? That harpy! Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. Should have gone for the Nidge Bowl. Nah, I haven't had that one yet. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. Huh? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. But today she has a rain cloud. <laughs> you're so funny. I, I didn't say anything. Unless you're talking about the, the real me. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Women aren't light bulbs. Cut to a clip of me playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and my character being named Lightbulb. Ah, I've said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. All right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. Rosebud. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I'm going to steal your man, and there's nothing you can do about it. <sighs> I know Sayori told me not to worry about her, and I have and to have fun with everyone else. That's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Just feel better! That's how you make depressed people feel good, right? Tell them to get over it. Works every time. 
know it feels like I'm the one be behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey, you! Uh -huh. I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? Oh, I'm currently staring at nothing. Oh, my bad. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I just thought you went brain dead. Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right! Reading! Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. Looks like you guys chose Natsuki. I'm surprised I wasn't keeping track of that at all. Jade! Now you're making me feel like a jerk. Well, it takes one to know one. If something's bothering you, then you could just tell me to leave you alone and I will. Oh wait, that was- <laughs> I am Natsuki! Assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori?! Thinking about her?! Yes, Natsuki. I am a Giga Chad. I've got all of you girls pining after me. I said that right as my voice cracked. I can't believe it. I'm a Giga Chad! But she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, well I did see her step in a bear trap halfway to school. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. Tell me about it! You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Like, how obvious are we talking? Are we talking, uh, okay, never mind. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Aw. Oh. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. I am open to the public. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... Now he was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. If you say so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe that wasn't who we chose today. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the clubroom. Oh, yeah, actually, it was Natsuki. We just shared just a little itty bitty scene. Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. She gives me a wink and a come-hither stare. Yo, what's up, girl? Alright, who should we choose? Who are we sharing our lovely poem with today? Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Or forever hold your waifu. Yeah, that sounds better. That soon, girl. You got it! What is this crap? Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. Oh god, I keep messing up the names. Because my name is Nickel and her name is Natsuki. <laughs> What's up, Ike? We just started, basically. You didn't miss much. Sayori seems a little bummed out, that's all. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Ugh. No, gross! I don't make out with poetry. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, 
what if you ended up just scaring me anyway? Scarring me anyway. Jesus, I can't read today. That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yes, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. God damn. When did I become a douche? Gah. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Duh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Maybe I won't mind scarring you away. Sca okay, it is scaring! God damn it! I can't read! <laughs> oh no! The English language harder than Japanese! Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> Never laugh again. So I actually do know a uh, woman at work, and I can always tell when she's there because she laughs like a dolphin. How the hell do you call that a joke? Actually, hmm. Well, me fail English? That's impossible. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. I actually recently learned that that was a legit mistake by Dan Castellaneta, and he quickly uh, rephrased it, he fixed it real quick, the S-M-A-R-T, and that's the take they went with because it fit Homer so well. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. So that whole exchange we just glossed over. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that your daydream that you daydream about each day, excuse me. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left long ago. Left you long ago. All right, I just became illiterate. I guess it matches with the nickel. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, You'll learn to love yourself again. It was beautiful. It actually rhymed and stuff. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. It is. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. You son of a beach. There we go. I just made something negative. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, I learned a new vocabulary word yesterday. It's called plagiarism. Plague plague apparently, it's really good when writing book reports, and apparently, it's good for poetry, too. Hey, Jeppo, I'm doing okay. How are you? Oh, you? You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Hey, what's up, fanboy? Yeah, notifications haven't been, uh, sent out. Ever. It's almost like Twitch doesn't want us to use their platform. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. How long has the stream been going on for? Almost 50 minutes. <laughs> At the very least, it was good practice. Yeah, that's how good the notifications are. Shut up and let's go, what's up? So everybody is, like, filing in. <laughs> Now, which is perfect timing, because we need to pick another girl to show them our amazing poetry, and in return, we get to see theirs. So, who should we go for next? Opinion on Red Dead 2? I'll let you know when I actually play it. Yuri! I saw her first. Well done, Nickel. It's 
It's better than the dumpster fire you brought me yesterday. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. So I told you I'm a giga chad. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Nickel? Yeah, I found out I'm illiterate and I also can't write. I'm a walking, talking brick. Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? Never go on the internet, Yuri. As soon as they find out you have an opinion, you'll be eaten alive. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in, in some way or another. Oh, God, that was me! I'm kind of afraid of disappoint. I'm just gonna just run with it. I don't want to disappoint you, my mistress. Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Twiddle thumbs, twiddle thumbs. Yuri thinks for a good minute. I start to hear a dial tone come from her mouth. That must be terrible! Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Oh, she has AirPods and can't hear us. <laughs> Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. Alright. Now we're a simp. And cue my cancellation off Twitch. Woohoo! I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. You're a product of Reddit, aren't you? <laughs> Holy shit, I think she does come from the internet. Oh no! Let's move on. Alright. You wanna share your poem now? Okay. Here. Ooh, fancy. Everybody wrote about a beach, so let's see what Yuri's has to say. Beach. Language, please. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth... Chastically? Chastically. Where the womb of Earth chastically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles or my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Wow. Do I think Doki Doki Literature Club would be better or worse if it had voice acting? Better. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. Are you kidding? You just... I, th I think you were coming on to me with that poem. Jesus. It's either that or you think the beach is a giant tentacle monster. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? Uh, nothing more than usual. She just wanted us to write a about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. 
any anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. There you go. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Otherwise, I just flip out and go nuts! Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. 